The indigenous inhabitants of the central highlands of Vietnam are commonly known as Montagnard or Mountain People. Alternative tribal designations for these groups include Annex Siu Chang and Dega, both of which refer to the original people of the Central Highlands. Their ancestors originally resided on the Vietnamese coastline and subsequently migrated to the Central Highlands, where they established their homes for many centuries. Their tribes speak Mon Khmer and Austronesian, Malayo Polynesian languages. The ancient Malay Polynesian groups originated from Polynesia and Indonesia while the Mon Khmer-speaking tribes migrated from Burma, Myanmar. The Malayo-Polynesian languages are spoken by a variety of tribes, including the Raid, Jirai, Kru, Rai, Siu, Rogle, and Roy. The Bonner, Ringgao, Sedand, Halong, Jia, Monam, Koho, Krau, Ketu, Fuang, Bru, and Paco tribes speak Mon Khmer languages. The Malayo-Polynesian languages are spoken by a variety of tribes, including the Raid, Jirai, Kru, Rai, Siu, Rogle, and Roy. The Bonner, Ringgao, Sedand, Halong, Jia, Monam, Koho, Krau, Ketu, Fuang, Bru, and Paco tribes speak Mon Khmer languages. Before the year 1800, the tribal peoples of the Central Highlands lived in isolation, experiencing a highland existence under a feudal system of governance. We lived in harmony, preserving our customs, culture, and traditions within a village-centric society. We were separated from the lowland cultures and our spiritual life was grounded in our connection with the natural world, encompassing the rivers, lakes, and forests. The life of the Montagnard and Xiu Chang peoples was intertwined with nature, including the seasons, family, and village. We relied on crossbows and spears for hunting and horses and elephants for transportation. The Central Highlands region of Indochina is home to more than 28 distinct tribal groups, with the Bonner, Jirai, Raid, Koho, and Nong tribes being the most prominent. These indigenous peoples have a long and rich history, characterized by a belief in nature spirits and the divine. According to their tradition, the divine force, A.E. Dai or Grandfather Sky slash God, permeates all of creation. Unfortunately, the last two centuries have been marked by significant conflict and turmoil for the Montagnard indigenous peoples. Various outside forces, including the French, Vietnamese, Americans, and the present-day Vietnamese government have utilized their ancestral land, turning it into a battleground for more than 30 years. During the French Indochina and Vietnam Wars, 1945-1975, the Montagnard people were employed as a tool of war and ultimately became the victims of the conflict on their own land. The devastating consequences of these wars resulted in the death of over a million Montagnards and the destruction or abandonment of 85% of their villages. Despite the immense suffering and loss experienced by the Montagnard indigenous peoples, they fought and died for France's interests in Vietnam, for America, and most importantly, for the dream of freedom that today benefits all Vietnamese people. In 1848, French Catholic missionaries explored the remote areas of the Central Highlands in Indochina and established a post in Kantum. The French government organized the diverse Montagnard tribes into a cohesive political unit, naming them Montagnard du Sud Indochinois or Montagnard of South Indochina. During the colonization period, the French federal government recognized the territorial sovereignty and integrity of the Montagnard people, and at that time, no ethnic Vietnamese, Kin people, or other groups lived in the Central Highlands. In 1892, the French colonial authorities transcribed the dialect of the Montagnard indigenous peoples into the Roman alphabet, which facilitated the introduction of formal education. In 1901, the first elementary school was constructed at Buon Amathwat, opening educational opportunities for the Montagnard people. From 1945 to 1954, the French Indochina War erupted between the French and the North Vietnamese communists. During this time, the French federal government recruited thousands of Montagnard teenagers, including 13 battalions of Montagnards, who were armed and enlisted to join the French forces in their fight against the North Vietnamese communists, the Viet Minh. On May 27, 1946, Admiral Darjean Liu, the representative of the French federal government in Indochina, created an autonomous country for the Montagnard population of South Indochina called Pays Montagnards du Sud Indochinois, 
PMSI. This ordinance granted the Montagnard people a statute particular that recognized their right to self-administration and self-determination in the Central Highlands. On July 25, 1950, the French classified the Montagnard territory as a Domaine de la Couronne, Crown Domain, placing it under the direct control of Emperor Bao Dai. The 13 battalions of Montagnard troops continued to serve the French federal government and protect the Crown Domain for the Vietnamese Emperor. On May 21, 1951, Decree No. 16-QD-TD was issued, stipulating that the non-Vietnamese populations residing in the territories known as the Montagnard regions of the South had a separate administration from the lowlands in the Central Highlands. However, in July 1953, Montagnard autonomy was suppressed by the regime of Emperor Bao Dai, and the Pays Montagnard du Sud Indochinois PMSI, was changed to Pay Montagnard du Sud PMS, the country of the Montagnards of the South. On July 21, 1954, the Geneva Convention announced the end of the Indochina War. Delegations from France, Britain, the US, Soviet Union, the Republic of China, Cambodia, Laos, South Vietnam, and North Vietnam participated in the convention. However, only the French and the Vietnamese representatives signed the agreement on the cessation of hostilities in Vietnam. The French authorities did not invite representatives of the Montagnard people to the convention, resulting in their exclusion from discussions on the future of their homeland and territory. After the Geneva Conference in 1954, Vietnam was divided into two countries. Ho Chi Minh took the helm of the government in North Vietnam, and King Bao Dai became the leader of South Vietnam, which was separated by the 17th parallel. Later, with support from the United States, No Dinh Diem became the first president of the Republic of South Vietnam. As part of the Geneva Accords, the French agreed to withdraw from Vietnam, and during the handover ceremony, both the French and Montagnard flags were lowered, and the South Vietnam flag was raised. This event shocked thousands of Montagnards who felt betrayed when the French transferred all Montagnard land and governance to South Vietnam.